I know that New Orleans is a magical place to visit, but it's also a magical place to raise a family, to celebrate Christmas, uh, to watch your kids play soccer, uh, to watch your kids grow up in the same neighborhood and do the same things that you did. We love our visitors, and we're happy when they come, uh, and we're happy to share that magic. But as a council, we have to represent the people of our city first and foremost. Now, voting against a compromise that will allow us to get the data, the names, the addresses of the folks that are participating in short-term rental in any format is voting against the people of this city. Because San Francisco has a whole lot more money than New Orleans, Louisiana as does every other city that Council President Head named. And they lost this battle. So by putting this in place, by getting a commitment that we will have the names, addresses, and permit numbers of the people that will be participating in short-term rental gives us a vehicle to control and curtail this particular disruptive industry and technology. Now, the Greater New, New Orleans the Housing Alliance uh, has issued a report, and they study this, and they agree with Councilmember Brossette, and I agree with them as well. We are in a housing crisis. But in their report, in their recommendation with regards to short-term short -term rental, they have stated that regulating short-term rentals alone will not fix these problems. However, it will help to ensure that an already bad situation for renters and people who are trying to buy homes in New Orleans does not get worse. 